Hey, thanks for joining me just for this quick devotional. I hope you all are doing really well today. Today I'm in James chapter 4, verse 6. It says, but he gives more grace. Therefore, it says God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Now, humility doesn't come naturally to most of us. And it's that virtue which if you think you have it, you probably don't. I heard one time that D.L. Moody, he used to pray, Lord, make me humble, but don't let me know it. Now, if you skip down to verse 10, we read this. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will exalt you. So the whole notion of surrendering our pride to the Lord, that kind of sounds strange at first, but there is no other way to get better. There's no other way to be healed. There's no other way to be forgiven. There's no other way to find new life. So we can fight the Lord or we can surrender everything to his control. When we fight, we lose. When we surrender in faith, we win. So we need to pray that God would pour out his grace in our hearts so that we'll only boast in the Lord. Now, maybe you can think of people that you've met that are proud. The proud man is just constantly going to remind you how great he is. He brags because he wants you to praise him. But if you have to tell me how great you are, how great could you possibly be? The braggart brags because he's trying to convince you and himself of how great he is. But the humble man doesn't have to brag because the truth speaks for itself. He leaves his reputation in the Lord's hands because it doesn't matter to him what others think. And so if you're going to walk in humility, it means you confess your sins, you, you forgive your enemies, you admit your mistakes, and you don't brag about how great you are. I think it also means you serve others. I, I like what it says in Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. It says, do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. James says, God opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. We can brag on ourselves or we can exalt Christ, but we can't do both at the same time. So this became my prayer. Lord, please show me where any pride has taken root in my life. I pray that I wouldn't get satisfied and assume that I've arrived in humility. Shine the light of truth on those areas of my heart that I try to hide. Point out where I have sin so that I can confess it and turn from it and allow you to remove it. Thank you for your forgiveness and grace. Amen. Hey, thanks so much again for joining me here this morning. Lord bless you.